Hello, this is Beefy Builder 88 and today we are playing Kirby Stream 1 3. <laughs> the step up from Kirby Streamland and Kirby Streamland 2. <laughs> but um I am I just wanted to Oh yeah, so well I mean here's the main menu, here's this. I'm I'm just I think there's a way I can potentially No, is it this? There we go. I just turned off the background. I didn't even know you could do that. What you do is you press plus and then minus on the Wii Remote. It turns off the background. It's amazing. Um, so you can look at here, look at that. So we, we are going to attempt to completely 100% this game. It's going to be amazing. Crashland. <laughs> so yeah, this episode will be the entirety of level 1. And as you can see, there are new characters. I mean, they're not new compared to what we have had now. But um, in terms of Kirby Streamline and Kirby Streamline 2, there's plenty of new characters. And plenty of characters that you will never see again. <laughs> um, and some that um, are seen in Kirby's, um, like Kirby 64 Crystal Shards. So there are those characters, and there's a Sir Kibble, a Cutter, and Cappy, and all the lovely enemies that we all know and love. Um, yeah, but as you can see here, we got Rick, and we also have a new one, which is Nago. It's not really, it's not that new, but I love Nago. I think you press, what do you do? Okay, so that's plus. Um, is it, oh, B. There we go. On the Wii Remote, it's a little different controls. So, um, you press B on the Wii Remote, you can get their, your enemy. Well, what am I saying? Your enemy, your, your animal buddy. And now we have Cutter Nago. That's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, I, my, I pre ordered the new Kirby game not too long ago. I'm super excited for it. It, um, it's gonna have animal buddies in it. Just like this. And Nago's gonna be in it. And it's gonna be this super HD, amazing Kirby game. With Nago, and Rick, and Pine, and Ko, and even some that, I, that are in this game that I haven't even mentioned, like Choo Choo and Pitch. I think they're gonna be in it. And then, um, not only that, but stuff from um, Kirby Superstar, my favorite. Superstar Ultra is my favorite. Um, but yeah, <laughs> then we got an Umbrella Naga. Um, but yeah, there's going to be um, enemies from Superstar and Superstar Ultra. And also enemies that, um, well, brand new ones. And then the fact that there's also the fact that you can get, like, helper abilities that are really cool. Oh, let's see, what, what does, um, electricity and Nago do? Ooh, look at this. But yeah, so, I'm thinking if I could potentially do it today, I'm gonna try and 100% this game in one day. And the episodes may come out every so often, but I'm gonna try and, like, do the whole game today. But yeah, this, this game is really cool. And I'm, like... This is the one Kirby game in the main series that I've never completed. I've literally completed every other Kirby game in the main series, but this one. This one I've never completed, and I know the ending and stuff, but yeah. So what we need to do first, I may need to get rid of Nago for this. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, we're going to not, just make sure not to touch any of those red flowers. And, oh! <laughs> you can attack any of the enemies. Here we got Spark. But yeah, just don't touch the red flowers. And it should be fine. So, 
So we also got invincibility right here. Yeah. Three kills. But don't get carried away with it because there is another red flower coming up. And the red flower is right here. So don't touch it. And should be good. Um grab this. Anyway, there's like not a single Kirby game after this that follows this style. But there you go. This red flower gives you a rainbow piece. So in every single level there is a rainbow piece. And we're gonna be getting all of them. So it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> we're using the same star mechanic that was in Kirby Stream 1 2. And there you go, we 100 percent stage one of level one. And next we got this. On, oh my gosh, I love this. See this character right? Oh! Oh! Shoot! <laughs> Gives you broom ability. I, I just wanted to mention that character's name is Kiki. And I love Kiki's delivery service. So, um, yeah, I love Studio Ghibli. I've seen most of their films. But yeah, it's a fun little tribute to Kiki. <laughs> I'm wondering if it, if Kiki is potentially a witch that is in a Japanese legend though, and that's why both of them are called Kiki. But yeah, you can- oh, and Broom Ability is gonna be in Kirby Star Allies, which is the new Kirby game. I'm- oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that game. But I- I don't know any other time that I can think of anytime soon that I'll be able to make this series. It's taken so long to even, like, almost make the series that I thought, you know, I might as well just do it right now. It'd be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, you know what? I don't really... Uh, that's fine. Whatever. I think if I press A... Yeah, look at that! So this character is a new character named Gooey. Um, not that new, but it was new to this game. And Gooey is just kind of your helper and help you throughout all this. And now we got two new characters here. So we got Choo Choo and we got Pitch. And Pitch can be amazing, but we need Choo Choo for this level. <laughs> they always get mad when you choose one of them versus the other. They're either mad or they're sad. Ooh, I totally forgot about this. Okay, so we got Choo Choo and we got Broom. They can just fly. It's amazing. <laughs> Look at that. It's so cool. <laughs> it's absolutely overpowered. Um, but yeah. I'm wondering, is there anything in here? Oh yeah, this is the whole reason we're here. So, we need Choo Choo because we need to do this. Oh, um, I think we're gonna need to get rid of that. We need to do, um, this. There you go. If you attack this guy, it, it makes him blush for some reason, even though they're totally different species. And Choo Choo, that's, that's why you need Choo Choo. But I, I really like Choo Choo. Oh, and this is a Pokemon, which was in the anime. It was in one episode of the anime with Chef Kawasaki and stuff. Oh, jeez. Okay. I didn't even catch how low my health was. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna grab this rock. And now we got this. <laughs> okay. Okay, I wonder if there's anything up here. Nope. Just a little star. But this can be really, really useful. And there's Needle. There's really not that many abilities in this game. I think, um... There's Fire. There's Needle. There's Electricity. There's Rock. There's Broom. There's Umbrella! <laughs> um... I'm trying to think, though. So we got... We got Needle. We got Rock. Umbrella. Broom. Fire. Um, it's not much though. So I'm, I know I'm missing something. 
Oh, probably Cutter. I think that's it. And then, and then of course, we got our final ability, which is only for the final level, which is cool. But yeah. But overall, there's not many abilities in this game. So, <laughs> the needle is so useful. And even though we died, I think it still should be fine, because we already did the thing with Choo Choo earlier. So yeah, there we go. I can just grab this uh, rainbow piece and we can continue on. Yay. And... Oh shoot. <laughs> I don't actually know what that does. I think it just does nothing. Okay. But yeah. Oh my gosh, I love Kirby games. Kirby games, They're, they have to be some of my favorite games of all time. And I thought, I might as well do this one because I've already 100% of Kirby's Dreamland and Dreamland 2. So, all we're missing is Dreamland 3. And then, then we can do stuff like Superstar and other stuff, even though Superstar technically took place before this. And anyway, um, but we got Ko and Kine. And I don't think we necessarily need any of them for anything, but I love Ko. You know, I, I do really love how derpy Kine is. I, Ko has to be one of my favorites of all time. But look at how cool that is, oh my gosh. But yeah, what's cool though as well is the fact that they really like stepped it up in this game with the animal buddies. Oh jeez. But yeah, they really stepped it up. I, mean, I might as well just get rid of that. Um, they stepped it up with the animal buddies because now not only <laughs> it's just, <laughs> did you see that the Waddleby's just flying off the board? Um, but yeah, but they stepped it up. They just, I keep saying that over and over again. It's just, it's just really cool. I just think, because you can combine all of this stuff with, um, any, um, well, like any animal buddy mixed with an ability. You just combine it and there you go. You can have so many different types of power-ups from the same power-ups. It's really cool. This is a little difficult. It may take a few tries. Okay, so you have to pick the right one. I think I, that was the first one. You have to do it three times, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah, there you go. I'm pretty good at visuals. Um, but this one's gonna be fast. Okay, I think it was that. Yep, we did it. Did it first try. That was pretty nice. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Just make sure not to die at that part. And lovely. <laughs> We can just keep going on. Plus, like, not only is this game really creative and fun, and it's a heck of a lot better than Kirby's Canvas Curse, um, but, like, I've barely played this game, and not many people have played this game either. I just kind of ran into that ball, but I didn't really care. But because we have plenty of health, and it's not like it's that hard anyway, so. But, but yeah, it's just such a good game, and, and I think it's fairly underrated compared to a lot of Kirby games. What I do wish, though, is that they add my favorite Kirby game to the eShop. That would be Superstar Ultra. They have Superstar, not Superstar Ultra. They have Kirby's Adventure and Nightmare in Dreamland, so it proves that they do put remakes on the eShop. Um, and their original version, too. So, anyway, we'll be playing Superstar. And one day I'll play Superstar Ultra when I can actually record DS games like that. Um, but yeah. But next we got, um... Okay, so this one's a little funny. It's, it's really easy. We just need to make sure that we go the right way. Just look at this. <laughs> I love how serious Ko is. Um... Yeah, Ko's just one of the most... Awesome characters. Just abs- Oh yeah, I've been doing this, and I totally forget the fact that 
Oh, if you press 2, you can just flap, and it's ridiculously fast. How did I forget that? Oh, jeez, I didn't know the bats did that. I, I don't even, I think they're called flappers, but... Oh, we're gonna need rock. Um, that's why... Yeah, make sure you have rock. Um... <laughs> oh, and there's a kappa! The kappa! Oh my gosh. I think it gives you cutter. But yeah, it's based off of a Japanese mythical creature. Does this give you anything else? <gasps> See, look at them. They're all mad. Oh man. I wonder though. Should do I need. Eh, I'll just stick with Ko. I don't need them right now, so I'll just stay with Ko. Ko's awesome. We can go right here. And if you do the middle one, you can get invincibility. So, um, yeah. Now, the thing is that I'm familiar with World 1, because that is the only world that I've actually 100%ed. Every other world I haven't ever played in my life. So, <laughs> this is this is kind of a breeze, but everything else is going to be a little bit more interesting than this. Um, because I have no clue how to do some of this stuff. We got a little boss. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this toll is sucking at it. Darn it. There we go. fire guys are called, and the boss is like, I don't know if there's, I think the only other time you'll ever see that boss is in, um, 64 Crystal Shards, and we will be playing that game, trust me, that game will be amazing, but yeah, you need to go down, because, um, you get this, this thing right here, a little monkey doll, and it collects just like an item, so you grab that, and that is literally all you need. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for this part. I didn't even think about it. Yeah, there's all these guys on the ground and stuff. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but yeah, oh. Let's keep this, because we're gonna want that. But, um... But yeah, the... The... Oh, is that, um, that Japanese exclusive thing? I may need to do that. There we go. But yeah, that, the, some, <laughs> I can't even talk. It's a Kirby Dream Land 2 when I did that video with the Japanese, um, when I played the Japanese version in the bonus episode, that's where this character that we are about to see comes from. And that monkey is, I guess, her toy monkey. Just a normal human. That's annoying. Anyway. <laughs> Luckily you got a metamato. Oh jeez. <laughs> Flashback moment. Um, there we go. There we go. Now we got it. Oh, jeez. Live with it. Here we go. <laughs> now we got a boulder rolling after us. Can easily get this metamato, luckily. Fly past all these gordos. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I was doing there. Those rain clouds, I don't know of any other game that has that enemy in it, so. Yeah, it's Kirby 64 the Crystal Shard is kind of like a 3D version of this game. It's kind of fun. But there's no animal buddies, that's the thing. But yeah, 
You remember this character, right? It even looks like the Game Boy Color version. It, it's a totally different art style than what we have here. Um, but yeah. Get the rainbow piece. We can continue onwards. Yay! <laughs> That's nice. We got six lives, and now we will continue on. Oh yeah, okay. So now I think um, Broom Hatters actually have a copy ability, which is Broom. Oh my gosh, look at that! <laughs> I didn't even know that did that! It's amazing! But yeah, Broom Hatters finally have a copy ability. That's nice. Because they, they've been around for a while. And this is like the one game that they have a copy ability. Because Broom doesn't exist in any other game. And those propeller guys, I don't know what they're called, but they do show up in um, 64 Crystal Shards, too. Oh man. 64 Crystal Shards, I have... Um, I like got to the 97% on that. That's a fun game. It's a really fun game. Um, it's absolutely a classic. It's not even one that I have too many memories with, but I just, I really love that Kirby game. It's definitely one of my favorites. Um, but yeah. I'll just keep going through here. But yeah, I think we're gonna need Kind for this level. Um, let's, let's grab this. Okay. But I want to. Oh, okay. Never mind. I wanted to get cutter, but that's fine, I guess. Oh, we got kind right there. That's exactly what we needed. I'm guessing Ko would have been right over here. Um. Sorry, Ko. I need kind for this level. I'm wondering. Okay, we got Rick and we got Nago. I know we'll be using Rick at some point. <laughs> but yeah. Ah, uh, look at this. It's amazing. I love Kine. Kine's really fun. Oh! Ow! <laughs> okay. I wonder... You know what? Let's grab Umbrella. <laughs> it's so strange. Oh no, actually, that really isn't gonna work at all. Um, it's a lot easier to just do this, because the umbrella's going up, and we need to go sideways, so... Oh, that's not good. Um, but, yeah, it should be fine. The kind only has one jump. So yeah, overall, kind is still the most useless of the animal buddies, but he's super fast at swimming. So... Watch out for these guys! Oh! <laughs> Have to be really skilled with kind in order to get past this. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> oh, look at this! Oh, we still took damage. I was hoping to not take any damage with this, and oh well. I was doing so well, too! Oh well. And we made it past that. Hello! We did it! Hello! The female fish. The female sunfish. <laughs> I wanna know what um, that character's name is. <laughs> kind. Just a one up. I love the little icons that they have whenever you have animal buddies. Because you have a little, a little different. You have a little icon for every single one. Fun. Anything back here? We got that. That's nice. Um... Oh! Hello. Oh god. I don't know if I want to do this. Needle with kind is so painful to look at. And you guys remember it from Kirby's Dream Land too? Oh man. Uh... I did it anyway. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. I, I don't like it very much, but... Oh. I didn't know they could do that. You know what? I'm gonna do Rick. Because, um, well, we've never really done Rick in this game yet, so. Ow! It's, it's still there. 
What does... Oh! Rick is so hard to use. I totally forgot about this. Because Rick doesn't suck up stuff. Rick... Rick instead, um... Yeah, we're, we're gonna not use that ability. Rick doesn't have a double jump, and Rick doesn't, um... Have... Well, doesn't suck up stuff. So it's a little bit awkward to use, but... Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, this is, um, we need to get that orange piece right there, and to the right. We're gonna need to deal with that. Yeah, that spider thing. I don't know of a single Kirby game after this that has that spider. But we're gonna need these little pieces that are everywhere. So, um... Eh? Okay, we're gonna get off Rick. There you go. I think there's a moment when you can't make it up an area with Rick anymore and you have to just abandon him in this spot because of the fact that Rick doesn't have a double jump. Um, but yeah, I think though, so. we go up here. Oh, there it is. Green piece right there. So I need that green piece, and then there's a blue piece and an orange piece. I have to get all of those. Um, could be set. So, yeah. Um, let's do this. So we got the green piece. We're gonna go down here. Here, grab that blue piece, and then um, we need the orange piece, which is right here. Just like that, it makes that little sound, and you know you've done it. And I think we have to abandon Rick here. I'm sorry, Rick. Sorry, goodbye. Yeah. Probably depends on. There may be an ability that Rick would be able to use that would allow for him to be able to get up there, but. We don't have that ability. Um, run! Okay. <laughs> Made it to the door. And... There you go. Ooh. Too bad there's no Archer Kirby. There's Archer Kirby in the new games, but... Oh man, and there's gonna be Spider Kirby? That's gonna be cool. That's a brand new ability for Kirby Star Allies. I, I'm wondering if I should play that game when it, like, if I should start a series of that game. You know what, I'm thinking Nago. I really like Nago. Um, but yeah, I'm wondering if I should start a series as soon as I get that game. I don't know if I'd have any time for it. I, I don't know. I, like, there's something about that game that if I were to play it and do it on YouTube, I would want to do it in one day. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. It's like Odyssey. If I if I were to do Super Mario Odyssey, I don't know if I would I would have to really make sure I have enough time for that. And these these um guys heal you if you suck them up. <laughs> Kinda interesting. Those little spinning guys, they steal you. Um, but yeah. The Odyssey, Odyssey's awesome. I've 100 percent of the game now. Um, but there's no way of being able to, um, really play that game. Oh, come on, Nago, I know you can do it! Come on! Darn it! No, come on. That's annoying. It's a one-up in replace of your friend. Oh, I'm sorry, Nago. You know when I when I heard that Nago was called Nago, I thought that that was what, not like, I thought Nago was cat in Japanese, and I was like, 
And so that's why, well, I mean, that's what I thought at first, but now I know it's nickel. Um, yeah. We're gonna make it through this level, but, um, Kirby Star Allies, I think, I think I'd want to do a bunch of other Kirby games before I start a game like that on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I would love, I would absolutely love to, um, play that game on YouTube. I still haven't completed Splatoon 2, because I've been waiting to work on that some more on YouTube. <laughs> and here I am making a new series right now. I just, I don't know. This, this game isn't really that long, so I just thought, you know, I think I could probably do a full length series in a day. And here's Wispy Woods. Episode 1 is about to finally be over. Oh yeah, you have to hit his face. It's not like you can just hit any part of his body for this boss. It's a cool boss though. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, look at that. Those fruit will hurt you because they're all rocking. Um, I think you can still suck them up. Huh? Um, but yeah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> we're almost there. Oh my gosh. We did it! There you go! Wish be Witch complete! We got all the rainbow pieces. Oh, I think there may be multiple cutscenes, like multiple endings to this, so I'm not sure. You may want to miss one rainbow piece and then continue back for it later. You never know. Um, but yeah, there you go. Did it. Yay! 100% of World 1. We unlocked World 2. Well, Level 2. Yeah. There you go, we did it. There's World 1. Level 1. Grassland. Anyway. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And next time, Level 2.